Hello and welcome everyone. Today we'll see what is UART protocol. There are different communication buses and for that communication buses, there are different communication protocols. For example, we have internal buses, SPI, I2C. For SPI bus, we have SPI protocol. I2C bus, we have I2C protocol. External buses, RS-232, 422, 485, USB, Ethernet. For each of these buses, we have respective protocols. Automotive communication buses, CAN, LIN. Industrial communication buses, field bus, Ethercat. There are many devices which uses Zigbee, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Then we have display buses like SDMI. Now let us see what is UART protocol. So UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. UART is a serial communication protocol. There are two types of communication, serial communication and parallel communication. So here UART is a serial communication protocol and it is used for exchanging data between the two devices. It uses only two wires that is TXD and RXD. UART uses RS-232 bus standard which specifies the signal voltages, signal timing, signal function and mechanical connectors used for transmitting and receiving serial data. This is the interfacing diagram for UART. So in UART communication, we need only two pins of controller that is TXD and RXD. TXD is output pin, serial transmit data pin and RXD is input pin, serial receive data pin. Here MAX232 is a voltage converter IC. And a figure shows the interfacing diagram of UART or serial port of computer with PIC18F controller. Only two pins of controller are used that is TX and RX. Here MAX232 voltage converter IC. Two pins of computer used here TXD and RXD. So this is a very simple interfacing diagram for UART communication. Now there are two types of data transfer. One is parallel data transfer, another is serial data transfer. In parallel data transfer, 8 bits of data is transferred at a time and in serial data transfer, 1 bit of data is transferred at a time. 8 lines required to be connected in parallel data transfer. In serial data transfer, only 2 lines are required to be connected. Just now we have seen in interfacing diagram, only 2 lines that is TXD and RXD are used in serial data transfer. As 8 lines are used in parallel data transfer, so data transfer is faster. In serial data transfer, the data transfer is slower. There are two types of serial data communication. One is synchronous, another is asynchronous. In synchronous, the transmitter and receiver are synchronized and uses a common clock to synchronize the receiver and transmitter. While in asynchronous, the transmitter and receiver do not share the common clock signal. In synchronous serial data communication, there are no start and stop bits. In asynchronous, uses start and stop bits. The figure shows RS-232 connector DB9. So you can see here there are 9 pins. Pin number 2 is received data RXD and pin number 3 is transmitted data TXD. So this is a very simple UART frame which consists of a start bit, which is zero, followed by the actual data or data byte. It can be five or eight bits. After that, one parity bit and one or two stop bits. So whenever there is no communication, the line is held high, which is ideal state. After that, we have start bit, which indicates the start of a communication as it is a serial communication. So LSB bit is transmitted first onto the line and when the communication ends, the stop bit will be transmitted and when there is no communication, the line will be held high, which is ideal. So this was all about your protocol. Thank you everyone.